This is Ish, 2016, getting ready to get on the tour. But first, I gotta rig my boat. This is my boat for the 2016 Bassmaster Elite Series. I'm also gonna be fishing some of the Bassmaster Opens and doing a few rail vacs. I mean, I got a lot going on next year, but I gotta get my boat ready from start to finish. I got a lot of the same things that I'm gonna be installing on the boat, such as the Bob's Machine Shop jack plate, installing power poles, the Yamaha SHO, and the Motor Guide Troller Motor, and teaming that all up you know, with Lowrance Gen 3 HDS units. Those are some of the normal things I've been putting in my boat, always gotta have, but I always got some special little tricks. You know I gotta have those in my boat, so we're gonna get to those later on after everything's in the boat. Let's go check it out. One thing I did on my Ranger 521C is I had uh, Ranger put in the NEMA system for the Lowrance units, the ethernet cables, having to run all the cables while the top cap is off. Also installing, you know, the uh, regular sonar transducer. Those are kind of things that help make this process a whole lot easier. You know, I've also had the dual pro trim installed for running my jack plate and running the trim on my motor. I've had the hot foot installed in the boat. Once again, this is just gonna be a process that helps me to make things a whole lot easier and I don't have to run a whole bunch of different wires. Point one antennas, running one in the stern and one in the bow so I can choose between those two point one antennas. I can choose between transducers with any of the units here. You know, if I wanna take the front unit and I wanna look at the structure can transducer that's on the back unit, I can do that at all the touch of a button when you network everything through this whole system right here. Those are just things that I did that made this process a whole lot easier for me. When you're doing an installation from scratch on your boat, you know, one of the first things you wanna do is work from the inside out. And so we're installing right now the uh, power pole pumps. Uh, then we're gonna install the jack plate and kinda go from there is starting on the inside and working our way back out. Now we've got the pumps installed right here, basically ready to go drill the holes from the side of the boat to mount the hoses. Now that we've got the uh, pumps installed, we've drilled the holes for the hoses. I mean, we're getting ready to mount the jack plate, Boss Machine Shot jack plate. It's a two-man job, so we're gonna get at it right now. Greg's putting on a little bit of silicone just to get a tight seal around the bolts for the jack plate. One of the cool things about the Bob's jack plates is they've actually pre-drilled the holes in the side of the jack plate for you're able to mount the power pole brackets. And so they sit flush to the jack plate and they're not actually being bolted between the jack plate and the transom. Moment of truth. One thing about the Yamaha SHO that I think is really cool and that teams up with the Lowrance units is I'm running the uh, NEMA interface cable for the Yamaha SHO. Basically what this is, is when we put the motor on, we can plug this into the motor and I can read just about everything you want to know from water pressure to temperature to how many PSI of the fuel flow is all through my Lowrance unit. So it connects right to the engine through here and then we're gonna run it and connect it into the NEMA uh, backbone back here and I'll be able to read all that information right off my Lowrance unit. Right now, you know, we're getting the motor mounted to the Bob's jack plate. Hole number two, come down. Motor's on, now it's time for the wiring. Now we've done the install on the jack plate. We've also installed the power pole brackets. We've got the motor installed. Now it's time to go ahead and install the power poles. Who's that guy? I know that guy, that's Kevin Van Dam. You know, gotta have something Kevin Van Dam in your boat, obviously. But him and Teenage Marine have come together to come up with a two-way boat alarm. I mean, this thing is great. As much as we travel around the country and as much tackle we keep in our boat, this is basically just keeping me honest, honest. I love Motor Guide Troller Motor. I believe it's the best troller motor out there on the market. Uh, but one thing when you do mount the troller motor down, you gotta make sure that it's flat so you're able to pull the pin really easy. So we're gonna drill some holes first. Uh, vacuum is basically drilling in the fiberglass. You wanna make sure that you're keeping it pretty clean. So let's get at it. Get some down pressure right there so it don't pop up. 
Right now, Richard's pre-aligning the bounce buster. Um, I put mine on top of the gunnel. It just gives me more space for putting rods on the front deck. The mount actually on some supports that are underneath here to keep it from basically busting through. So when we drill it, it's gonna go through that support. We're getting it lined up so that the bounce buster sits on top of the gunnel so that I have all the free space here for my rods. Now we're gonna mark it. Basically marking all the holes and then we'll pull the mount off and then drill the holes. Yeah, no. Now she's all done, everything's installed. Gotta send her down to the wrap shop in Phoenix, Arizona to get wrapped up at Liquid Wraps. Just got her back from the wrap shop. Man, she looks beautiful. Now we're gonna go through and show you all the cool little things I've done to this boat and get on the water. I have to run Motor Guy Troller Motor because I believe it's the best motor on the market. You know, running the 109, I will be switching to the X5 that's coming out this year. But right now we've got the Eliminator on it by TNH Marine. This Eliminator is actually going to reduce that whistle noise that you get from the prop when you're out there fishing. And so when you reduce that whistle noise, it allows you to fish a little bit more quieter. And then I teamed it up with the Equalizer from TNH Marine. This Equalizer is allowing you to actually raise and lift your trolling motor with a little bit of assist to it so you don't have as much fatigue throughout the day. It just actually goes down a lot quieter and pulls up a whole lot easier. The cable that I'm using for the Motor Guide Troller Motor, it's called the red one. I mean, it's basically a cable. And so it makes it so you can pop the troller motor with ease. The bounce buster that we're gonna run on it Teaming it up with the HDI transducer from Lowrance is allowing me to get regular sonar and down scan at the same time from one transducer. So I've got that mounted on the front of my motor guide. I love the aluminum prop that it comes with. The machete prop allows me to cut through that grass and just go wherever I need to go. That's pretty much it besides the strap tie down, makes it so the motor doesn't bounce around and move around a lot and keeps your motor working properly throughout the year. This is where all the magic happens, folks. And when I mean the magic, this is where the fishing happens. You know, the cool foot uh, teamed up on the motor guide troller motor, running a .1 up front so that the arrow is straight when I'm fishing, you know, out on the water. HDS Gen 3 connected to the units in the back. So whether I punch in a waypoint there or I punch a waypoint there, all the waypoints are gonna show up through the NEMA and through the ethernet system that I have set up through here on the whole Lowrance unit. I'm loving the uh, Bass Boats technology mount. It actually pushes it up a little bit further. I put the E-locks on here so that the graph can never come off or never fly off. Got it tightened down really good, not going anywhere. Power pole buttons on front makes it easy to step. The one cool thing I did love about the Ranger is the cup holder that Daiwa um, made a lure retriever and that I can pop right here in the cup holder and I'm pretty much good to go anytime. You wanna eliminate trash and water getting in your boat, get a couple of these just pedestal plugs and you just pop these pedestal plugs right in here. You won't get any trash or any water into your boat through these holes, so real simple. A Couple of cool uh, trailer upgrades from Ranger. We've got the cool, I call them the Skeet Reese boxes. He was kind of one of the first guys to start it. It's just extra storage for all you guys out there that need more storage. So, you know, if you want something, talk to Ranger about these new boxes. Another cool upgrade that Ranger offers now is the upgraded 17 inch a, a black nickel aluminum wheels, which just give it a lot cooler look, especially teamed up with the black matte finish on my wrap. I mean, it's gonna be awesome. Running a second 0.1 antenna on the back and the Sirius uh, weather module 
So I got Sirius XM radio and weather on my two Lowrance Gen 3 units. So the point one allows me to get a GPS coordinate here on the back of the boat for when I'm driving at the console. And then I have the point one on the front for when I'm getting the GPS coordinates on the front of the boat from the front unit. And then the Sirius weather module, hey, what else can you ask for? Who doesn't need Sirius XM radio? Listening to the heat, you know, shade 45, and then getting the weather on there, I'm able to figure out the storms and the wind direction from the weather because it's giving me an actual radar and that I can actually position myself. It actually helped me when I won uh, Lake Okeechobee. I saw the storm coming in, went to a different section of the lake, missed the storm, caught a bunch of fish. Just options that you might need to have. Now we're at where all the power happens in the back. Power pole, eight foot blades, running on the back here. Yamaha 250 SHO, the only way to go. Uh, Bob's machine shop jack plate, my hydraulic jack plate. What else do you need back here? I mean, this is everything that's gonna get you to the place, hold you where the fish at, and allow you to catch the fish. Folks, you want the best transom saver on the market? Well, the Moto Stop's the one for me. This transom saver gives your motor all the support that it's gonna need. Any brand, I run this one for Yamaha, but they make them for all brands. The Moto Stop's the only way to go. So get yourself a Moto Stop and you're gonna save your transom and save the uh, bolts on your jack plate and all the things on your motor. For finding, locating the fish, the Ranch Gen 3 units, dual, teamed up on the Bass Boats technology mount that is mounted, very simple to mount. Same screws that you had for the plate that was there. You bolt your Bass Boat Technologies mount right there and you can run dual units. I love running dual Gen 3 Touch 12 units just because I can see so much of my screen. I'll have a sonar screen, I'll have a structure scan screen, I'll have a mapping screen and be able to see it all. Also able to control the Sonic Hub, uh, so listening to my music when I'm there. And that's mounted all up underneath the console here. And that's pretty much my console for what I'm gonna be looking at all through the season. Just another little nice little ad for something kind of cool. It's called the Cool Foot. It's the same um, style that I have mounted on my trolling motor. Foot pedal right up the front there. Gotta have my stiffy push pole. Got it mounted right here behind the seat. It's not gonna move anytime I need it. I've got basically 12 feet of push pole ready to go. One thing in my battery compartment, I did upgrade to the uh, Bass Pro Shops heavy duty battery tray for my cranking battery. Uh, it mounts in there real simple by four screws and it tightens down that battery tray so that you get no movement out of your battery tray or them breaking. And then for my trolling motor batteries, I use the RMC. They have a triple battery tray that I can put four batteries in it. I'm running lithium batteries this year. Uh, one thing you'll see inside is I've uh, removed the charger and put it down on the floor to give myself more space and more room. And it's just really neat and clean. I like in my battery tray just because if I need to put anything back there for extra storage, I have that room in that space. Here it is. I'm excited. My boat's ready. I'm ready. 2016 is getting ready to start. I'm ready to go fishing with all my goodies. So let's go.